I'm Dr. Tim Boyack. I'm the director of the cardiac catheterization laboratory at Chester County Hospital. Every time a patient presents with a heart attack from home, a clock is started, if you will, that measures the, the, the time of the process of first uh, recognizing the patient has the heart attack, getting the patient to the hospital that has what's called a PCI-capable center where you can actually then reperfuse or open up the clog pipe. That time uh, is a nationally recognized standard of quality measures actually in the United States. The first thing that's done obviously is, is calling 911. The paramedic service is trained and specifically uh, uh, spends extra time to understand the EKG findings that could reflect a heart attack. That EKG is transmitted to the emergency room where an emergency room physician uh, in concert with discussion with the paramedic makes the call, if you will, to start the process of beginning the patient's route through the, the, the uh, management of that disease state. So the quicker the, the diagnosis is made and the quicker the reperfusion occurs to open up the pipe, the clear-cut impact upon survival. The kind of numbers that are out there is every 30 minutes that, sh that is delayed uh, increases mortality by about 10%. So, so obviously the faster you get to the hospital, the faster you're recognized, the faster the patient's gonna recover and obviously have a lower uh, mortality rate. The paramedics are engaged not only in the field recognizing the disease state and then treating the patient, but they are engaged with caring for the patient as they enter the cath lab. The, the data uh, would support that that adds uh, not only to survival because you're decreasing door to balloon time, but there's continual uh, patient interaction with the same team. So in the cath lab, uh, the team then involves the interventional cardiologist, the nursing staff, and what's called an x-ray tech or uh, radiation technologist. Those folks are trained specifically in managing uh, patients in the catheterization facility, which means basically inserting a catheter, a small tube through the femoral artery up to the heart, squirting x-ray dye into the three main pipes, and then diagnosing which artery is clogged. And typically under those settings within a 35, 40 minute uh, presentation to the hospital, we identify one artery that is clogged. And in a, an acute myocardial infarction, that most of the time represents a blood clot. The way I like to explain it is, uh, if we're inside the pipe, the wallpaper inside the room, for instance, is keeping the cholesterol behind the wallpaper. In a heart attack, what literally happens is the cholesterol grows enough that it ruptures and tears the wallpaper. As that is exposed to the lumen, the artery, the pipe, it shuts. That clot plus the cholesterol is what we attack in the cath lab, which literally means passing a wire past the clot, engaging sometimes and removing the clot with a special catheter, and then placing what's called a stent, which is literally a wire mesh, a scaffold that gets expanded and the blood flow is reestablished. Now that whole process from field to device therapy, meaning putting the catheter in and, and removing the clot and, and placing a balloon and a stent, that's the door to balloon time. And again, that's a quality measure based upon American Heart Association guidelines, uh, a national effort now called Mission Lifeline, which is to drive down the time of presentation to the time of treatment. In, in, uh, in national efforts, it, it is expected that 75% of all patients presenting to a PCI center like ours would have to be performed under 90 minutes. Uh, in general, uh, because of the process that we set up over the last four to five years, our door to balloon times amazingly have been in this, the 65 to 70 minute range. And that represents tremendous amount of uh, engagement from the community paramedic systems, EMS systems, to obviously the cath lab and then what we provide in the cath lab. At Chester County Hospital, we meet and beat the national door to balloon time averages.